So a group of neo-Nazis showed up at the Pride March in Detroit. Fuck Nazis! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Get the fuck out of here! And it, that upset a lot of people, obviously, with good reason. But people are really, really pissy. I'm seeing on Twitter, I'm seeing on Facebook, uh, uh, a Facebook friend of mine was posting about it. I'm going, you're, you're mad at the police? They're mad at the police because they're supposed to be protecting us, not the neo-Nazis. And it's like, no, they're protecting all of you. If they protect them from you and you from them, they've got a pretty good scenario going on. You know, you don't want to trigger the neo-Nazis into doing something violent, do you? You know, they've got weapons, okay? B building a wall between you and them is probably the best thing they can do, but for some reason people are pissy towards the police. It's kind of like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. No matter what the police did, I think people would complain anyway. You know, to me, they did a pretty good job. There were no major incidents that actually happened because of the neo-Nazis. People were just pissed that they were there. You know, I think it's sad that they showed up. I think it's really pathetic, but, you know, at least there wasn't an incident. That's all I gotta say. Everybody hold hands and form a line, and they won't come through. Step back. Step back. When I see that footage, it makes me think about the first Pride marches I'd ever went to in the early 90s. And, the, and at every march, there was always this particular area where this, a spot that the people that act like Westboro Baptist Church would hang out. They'd hold up these signs, uh, you know, God hates uh, gays, that sort of thing. Um, repent, repent. You know, there'd always be this section. And most of the time... You know, people just tried to ignore them. Uh, every so often there'd be one of these people that would run up to them and, YOU HAVE TO ACCEPT ME! And it's just like, uh, no, they, they, not, especially not when you act like that, they're not going to probably accept you. Um, but why do they have to? They're, they're bigots. So, you know. But that was the most that you'd expect. Someone would come up to them and, and yell at them for a moment and then, and then walk away. Um, the way things are now, if there are people like that, I, I guess they can expect to, to be physically assaulted unless police are around. That's quite a change. I don't know if it's a good change or not. It doesn't seem like a good change to me. The way things are now, things that would have been a small incident become huge. They become front story news. They become the top tweet. You know, everyone has it on camera, on their smartphones. You know, no small event is really a small event. And that's kind of unfortunate, because we used to be able to just... Yeah, there's people that believe like that. Who fucking cares? Let's just ignore them. You know? But that can't happen anymore. This is certainly a, a negative side to diversity of mindset. You know, we're, we're being forced to reckon with all these things. Now, that could be said as a good, a good thing, you know? Maybe we occasionally need to rip off the bandage and scrub the uh, the festering wound and then uh, properly take care of it, you know. But it seems pretty chaotic right now. Streets! Whose streets? Whose streets? Whose streets? Whose streets? So you're going to try to tell police officers that these are your streets? I don't think so. Whose streets are defending Nazis? You're defending Nazis! You guys are defending Nazis! That side will 
it's You're defending Nazis! They're protecting all of you. If they protect them from you, and you from them, there's not going to be an incident. But, you know, if there's a whole bunch of people with the scrappy-do mentality, and people who may be coming with milkshakes or whatever, and these neo-Nazis have weapons, yeah, how is that supposed to turn out? Do you really think you're going to run on in there and, and you're going to really show them? Like, like this next clip. Bunch of chicken shits! What? Yeah? Fuck you, you piece of shit! Come across the street away from your cops! Come across the street away from your cops, huh? Beat you once, we'll do it again! You ain't shit! Do you really think the police would allow that to happen? I don't think so. You're, you're, you're acting like this badass, and you can't even say it on the same side of the street as they are. You're saying it across the street. Okay, I mean, I'm sure it makes you feel good to do, and, and, and that's fine, you know. Get that all out, and maybe you'll feel a little better, because it is pretty pathetic that the neo-Nazis showed up. Do you really think it would be a good thing if the police weren't there? I'm still just, just flabbergasted that they're blaming the police for trying to protect everyone. Blaming the police on, I don't know, almost as if the police are the ones that allowed the, the neo-Nazis to be there. Are you guys expecting the police to, to just arrest them? Oh, they're here to cause trouble, let's arrest them? Is that what you think? I mean, what, what should the police really have done? None of this makes any sense to me. It really doesn't. It just seems like people acting really irrational.